Evening guys, uh, just caught me doing a bit of prep for a session I'm having on the 7 tomorrow morning. Uh, I've got a couple of pints of maggot left from Wednesday. Um, I just thought I'd use it up on a good swim nearby. Um, I intend fishing long whips, 7 and 8 metres, which has been a successful method on this river now for a while, targeting silvers. Um, I'd just like to run through some of the rigs that I use, so without further ado, let's have a look at the kit. Right, we've got an array of kit here. I've already set a couple of rigs up. Uh, I've set up a couple of one gram rigs and a couple of um, point fours. Now the one gram, well both rigs, they're set up with strong out shots, strong out shotting patterns. The reason being, um, the seven, although it's a big river, it's quite shallow and quite often you loose feeding uh, maggot caster emp and the fish will respond more to um, a stick float style presentation and I'm able to do that um, with strong out whip floats. Now the float itself is a census Alberto. Now I've been using these a couple of seasons um, and what I'm sold on is the fact that they don't tangle which is really important if you're using seven and eight meters of whip the last thing you want is a float that keeps folding over you have to keep adjusting it um, no such problem with these, so um, yeah, very good. I put them onto um, the lighter ones onto power line. Got so 13. Uh, that handle shot really well, and the heavier floats I put onto the uh, Reflo float max. So the one grammers are on 016 float max, which is a three pound. Again, I chose this because easy to move shots up and down the line so if I need to change the shotting pattern through the day um, this line's robust enough for me to be able to to push the shots up and down um, I always finish these off with the reliable Kamazan V560 these have been out ugh, donkey's years now it's a fine wire rug uh, they're a nice shape for whip fishing these are 18s and 16s. 18s I'll be tied to 010 and I've tied up some 16s to 012. Moving on to the whip itself. Now I like to use an elasticated whip. Even though I might be targeting small fish, you never know if there's going to be uh, an odd bonus come along. There's always perch around. Um, there's some big chub. You could get chub up to four pound, maybe even a barbel. So having an elasticated whip always gives me a chance of landing those bonus fish. Now what I do is I just put an all elastic through the second section. In this case it's a 6 to 8 browning hollow. And I set it pingy. And the reason it's pingy is I need to be able to set the barb. So if you've got 8 metres of line on and you lift the pole, I want that barb set. But a good thing with having a shorter length of elastic, even a lighter hollow like this, is there's not too much of it that's going to pull out of the pole under the weight of the fish and have the, the elastic dragging down too far when you want to uh, swing fish to hand. Well, we've been fishing a couple of hours and it really has been good uh, for such a bright day. Um, we're catching some nice big days, a few big perch as well. Um, the most successful method so far has been the full depth 
one gram rig. Um, as the day goes on, I expect to catch a few on the shallow rig. But um, yeah, it's been quite good. A nice perch. To be I'm fishing an eighteen B five sixty, so they I'm fishing an O ten bottom. Normally I'll fish a bit heavier than that, but it seem a bit hook shy today. This is to always put your rigging downstream and feed slightly downstream as well. Just imagine you're fishing a stick float but with a whip. When you fish the whip, it's a keep, try always keep a tight line as well. A tight line to the float. Just imagine you're fishing a stick flow, all the shots lost and pinned out. It's nice. And lots of bites now. Small days. Definitely this one gram ring has been the one today uh, with a strong out in the bottom third. It's been the best rig. I've not caught much on the uh, the point four. I had some small dice, but this has been the boss rig. Small dice. feed and pull the rig back into the feed. Just let that run through. Just like that. Cock dice. Got a few of these bigger dice today. They're worth catching. Occasionally I'm putting a dropper full of maggot in to concentrate the fish up, keep them low in the water. Bites are easier to hit rather than having fish spread all over. So when I put that dropper in, put it in around 2 o'clock, 
so I can then run my float down over the top of the feed by dropping the rig in at about 12, 1 o'clock. Double maggots has been best today. I've caught a few fish on singles, but I seem to want double. Beautiful days. It's the end of a nice morning on the river, fishing just a seven metre whip with a couple of pints of maggots. We've probably got 15 20 pound of perch and dace there. Some beautiful perch up to two pound, big dace. Beautiful big perch. It was a great day's fishing. <laughs>